Hello YouTube, I'm Pedro from the Wicked Cat team. On the last video we finished placing the wheel colliders we need for our truck. Today we are actually going to create a small script that will work as a controller for our vehicle. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and if you want more Unity 5 tutorials, remember to subscribe to our channel. Now before we actually start, keep in mind that this is not a programming or a C-sharp tutorial. I'm not going to explain what variables and functions are, since I'm assuming that you already have some basic knowledge in programming. If programming is something completely new to you, I would strongly suggest that you search for some beginner tutorials, either here on YouTube or on programming websites. So now that you have that out of the way, let's start. So first thing I'm going to do is to create a script and for that I'm going to select the folder where I have my model and I'm going to open the scripts folder that right now is empty and now with the right button of the mouse I'm going to click I'm going to select create and I'm going to select C sharp script and I'm going to name my script loadmaster cargo controller Okay, now I ha we have created our script. Next step is to double click on it so open, to open in my code editor. So right now my computer is opening uh, Visual Studio because that's the editor I actually use. And as you guys can see every time you create a new script Unity automatically will have the Unity engine and the system collection references to your script. It, it will also create the class for you and you'll have two functions already in your script, the start function and the update function. So the start function is called when a game object is created, meaning that will execute only one time. So this is the right place to do all the initialization you need and the update function is called once per frame and this is where you should do all the update operations to your game object. So in order to create a controller for our truck we need a way to connect the collider with the mesh with the meshes of the wheel. Also the wheels of the truck will work in pairs meaning that we need a way to for example um, we have the the, to give an example the front pair of the car right so we have the the right front wheel and the left front wheel so that will be our pair so we need actually need a way to define those pairs so to start uh, to actually define those let's actually create a, a new class that will be a data structure that will represent a wheel pair okay so before actually doing this class right here what I'm actually going to do is to create another class this class public class and I'm going to call it Excel loadmaster cargo info Open brackets and we have created a new class okay so this is going to be the data structure that we are actually going to use to define the pair of wheels next uh, we need to set some parameters for each wheel pair that are common to all, to all pairs in a vehicle so a wheel pair will have two wheels okay meaning that you'll have two wheel colliders and two meshes one for, for the right wheel and other for the left okay so let's create that so I'm that we are going to use actually public variables here so we can see them on the editor so I'm going to public let's start by the collider wheel collider and left wheel let's set the reference to the mesh in this case public game object left 
will mesh and let's do the same for the right so public wheel collider right wheel and public game object right wheel mesh okay so basically now we have uh, the four uh, variables we actually need so this allow us to create a connection between the the wheels the wheel meshes and the colliders okay so now that we have we have two more properties that a wheel pair can have uh, a pair could do steering or it could also be attached to the motor itself so usually on cars we have the steering of the vehicle on the front wheel pair and the motor on the back wheel pair or you could have motor in all pairs as well so in order to set this value I'm going to define two bool properties okay so in this case public bool motor which will tell us if the wheel is attached to the motor and we we'll also have another bool this time for the steering does this wheel apply a steer angle so basically this is what happens with the front pairs of the wheels in the cars that apply a steer angle this is what allows the car to change direction okay so basically what I, we are actually going to, to see is that does this pair have steering or not because for example the pairs on the back of the car usually don't have steering okay so this is are the properties so now that you have all the information we want for our wheel pair we actually want these attributes to be displayed in the inspector view if you are actually creating these attributes right here inside the loadmaster cargo controller and public they will be displayed individually on the on the editor however since we are actually creating a data structure in this case a class that will be work as a container for several information in order to this to be displayed in the inspector just like the attributes for example for the transform position or rotation we actually need to set this class as a serializa serializable okay so we can actually do this by adding one line of code right here before the class definition I'm going to say system dot serializable right here and this will make um, these these attributes appear in the inspector view once we work with them okay so I'm going to save right now so now that you have all the fields we need to define a wheel pair it's time to move on to the controller class that we are going to use in our truck in order to make it move and be able to control it and we will actually focus on that on the next video hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson until next video have a nice day